Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another bookstore haul shopping video. These are so much fun to make and I love finding new themes for these videos. As much as I love going to the bookstore, there is something about going to a thrift store and like having a treasure hunt for used books that just like makes my heart so happy. It's just, you never know what you're gonna find. It might be a hit, it might be a miss. You might have multiple hits, but it's just so much fun and I thought it'd be really fun to take you guys along and there was a couple reasons I wanted to film this video first we just hit 60k and I told myself I always set like milestones and like you know what I'm gonna do to celebrate and for 60k it was to take myself out on a date and so this is the date secondly you guys know I had COVID on my birthday and so I'm kind of doing a delayed birthday celebrations and Literally, I'm a cheap date. All I wanted was to go use book shopping. I didn't really want anything else. And so, today we're gonna go grab a coffee and then we're gonna go bop around a bunch of used bookstores and thrift stores and it's just gonna be so much fun. I cannot wait to take you guys along. I mean, I'm filming the intro after I filmed the video, so I know that we scored some really great books, but I honestly can't wait to get into it, so let's just, let's just go. Alrighty guys, we are at our first stop, which is Value Village, which is like our chain of thrift stores. Um, I'm gonna go to two of them, I think, because there's two that are pretty close to each other. I got an email this morning, which, this is why I love Value Village. If you sign up for their Super Saver point thing, they'll email you the most random coupons, and now... I have a coupon, which, like, how can you resist this? Spend $25 and save $10. That means all the books you get for $25 would be $15. Like, that is such a great deal. So, we're going to go in. We're going to see. I, I usually keep a list on my phone of books that, like, have caught my eye that I want to read. Or um, anything by certain authors, like Ellen Hildebrand, Emily Giffen, stuff like that. So, let's head inside, see what we can find. I'm really excited. And Value Village is also buy four books, get the fifth free, even if you have a coupon. So it's really a stellar situation, and most of the books are $3.99 and $4.99. So let's go in and see what we can find. <laughs> guys i have never hit the jackpot like that at value village wait till you see how many books i got for 30 dollars. that's insane now i need caffeine of course what's a book video without coffee <laughs> prettiest coffee shop you've ever seen in your life also this is like so random and weird i'm putting you guys down because my hand hurts but i love when coffee shops put your cold brew in a hot cup because it just doesn't get as cold on the outside i literally love love that and i am a cinnamon bun connoisseur so anywhere i go i have to get a cinnamon bun see this is like a glazed cinnamon bun with a little frosting and i prefer a frosted one but it's okay we'll give it a go I feel like every time we do a book video now, we should try a new coffee shop. Kind of like Mikkel Jancy does. Okay, cold burn cinnamon roll. Mm. I give it a 7 on 10, maybe 6.8 because it's kind of dry. It's not very fresh. But it's tasty. Anyways, we got some fuel. I'll have you know, I did have a smoothie this morning to balance out the cinnamon roll though. And we're going to head to our next Bayou Village location. So sorry, I'm like literally curved like this. I'm trying to move the camera. But let's head to the next value village with our cinnamon bun. <laughs>
This is a two-in-one thrift store. Mission Thrift, Salvation Army. This is gonna be epic. It's the OG version. It's so pretty. We're clearly hitting the Sarah J Moss jackpot today. Also, like, I don't have a reason to get the old cover, but I kind of want it. Not the throne of glass, but... Like, I don't know what I would do with it, but I kind of love it for, like, 99 cents. Look how old and beautiful this copy of Little Woman is. I'd get it, but the front part is falling off. Look at it, it's so beautiful. Oh my goodness, I want it, but like I'm not gonna get it if it's broken. Welcome to the book haul. All right, it's the next day. Time for a haul. I'm so excited. You guys will have to let me know which one I need to read first. And I need to try and separate them. I'm gonna try and tell you guys which thrift store I got which at. I got all of these books for $50, like on the dot. I spent $30 at Value Village, uh, $10 at the other thrift store because the books are $1.50. And then I think I spent another $18 at Value Village. So I think the amount of books we got for $50 is insane because when I filmed my going out of my comfort zone bookstore video, I spent like $100 on five books at the brand new bookstore. Like it was insane. So I'm just going to grab books and we're going to go through them randomly. First book I got is The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. I know this is like a very acclaimed literary fiction book. I don't love hardcover, you guys know, but I couldn't pass this down for $2. I think at the smaller thrift store, both of them, it was $2 hardcovers, $1.50 softcovers. So I couldn't pass it up and I've heard like really, really great things and the cover is so beautiful. So I have no idea what this is about, but I, I know it's very, very acclaimed and highly talked about. So I picked it up, but bam, success. And like one or two of these might be mixed up, but it's, it's literally fine. Um, super excited about this. I love Karen Slaughter. I'm actually about 30% of the way through Pretty Girls right now and I love it. So when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I really need to read this. Um, so this is The Kept Woman and this was like I said, $1.50. I did buy it. Like I have no purpose for this. Why did I do this to myself? But I did buy the older cover of Akatar. It was $1.50. I think I might give it to a friend who wants to read it. Or maybe like annotate it for a friend. I think that could be fun. But also maybe go back and annotate this because I didn't annotate my newer cover. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But it will either have a good home with me or I'll give it to a friend who wants to read it and annotate it for them maybe. I always see these books at the thrift store and I've never read them. And someone commented on my last book video and told me that I should pick them up next time I see them. Um, so if this was you that recommended these to me, thank you so much. Um, the Mortal instruments series i believe is what it's called so this is book one city of bones and then i picked up book two which is city of ashes i see these at the thrift store all of the time so hopefully i can pick up the rest of them but i don't even know what these are about um this fast-paced fantastic thriller will keep readers on the edge of their seat is it a thriller fantasy is it YA? I don't even know, but I picked them up. Okay, then we have The Guilt Trip by Sandy Jones. This has actually been on my TBR for a while. It just came out last year. Um, and it looks really, really good. I love a good thriller, especially like a nice small one when I'm in a slump. So I'm excited about that. Love Megan Miranda. This is actually one of the only books left I have to read from her. This one is a little banged up, but I mean like for $1.50, I don't really care. Um, and this is All the Missing Girls. I actually just saw someone on TikTok talk about this. So saw that, had to scoop that up. And then... This one, I'm not really sure where it got it from, but I tried to read this book before, but the, I know there's a very heavy trigger warnings, but I do want to get through it just like very slowly. So I did pick it up, My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. Um, yeah, I know it's very heavy on the trigger warnings, but a lot of people say that it is a good read. So I don't know. We'll see. I'll get to it maybe when I feel like getting to it, but I saw it and I was like, okay, I can't resist buying it. 
I'm adding to my Ellen collection. I'm trying to get the whole collection. I think that would be so fun because I really love her books. I can see myself rereading them. And yeah, these were some of the ones I'm missing, which I usually find it really hard to thrift Ellen Hildebrand books because it's usually the typical like perfect couple, Summer 69, um, the Paradise Trilogy, and I never find the other ones. So I'm really happy that I snagged some of the other ones. So first one I picked up was the Castaways. Then super excited to finally find the Golden Girl. I've been looking for this one for a while. A lot of you guys said to read this one next. So very excited about this one. We've got the Identicals. And then we have Beautiful Day. So four more Ellen books to add to the collection. Super excited to have like a whole little shelf for Ellen. My Value Village stack. Well, I guess some of the Ellen ones were from Value Village too. But you guys know I am the biggest Greer Hendricks fan in the world. Um, like love her and also Sarah Peckinham. I actually haven't read an anonymous girl yet. So when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I gotta scoop this up. Like I, I need to read this super excited then we have the rose code which was actually our book club book last month and i got like 20 percent of the way through it on my kindle and then never finished it and i really do want to read it i've heard it's really really amazing you guys know i love historical fiction so um could not pass this up for 3.99 honestly never heard of this book but once again sucker for historical fiction this is the second life of muriel west it's about a lady in the 1920s who is a socialite but then she's diagnosed with leprosy and it's just about like how leprosy was like so foreign and like taboo back then so i love anything like medical historical fiction like that's why i loved the stool of marriage by diane chamberlain so much so i might start this one really soon this one at indigo all the time in like the critically acclaimed fantasy ya section so picked it up it's red queen by victoria aveyard once again no idea what it's about but then this is one of the only ruth Ware books i haven't read yet which is the woman in cabin 10 so was happy to see that and then last but not least um another good old historical fiction the chanel sisters this has been on my tbr for so long it's basically just about antoinette and coco chanel and their journey during world war one and yeah sounds amazing like i said it's been on my tbr for so long so I'm super excited to read this but i hope you guys enjoyed my book haul just goes to show that if you're dedicated to thrifting you can get some good books and for really good deals i mean at the new bookstore i think i could get like two maybe three books at 50 dollars. like that's crazy but let me know which one i should read first down below because i'm gonna need your help picking and if you guys enjoyed coming along and maybe it inspired you to go thrift some books and i'll talk to you guys next time bye